Hello. A very good evening to all of you. Today, we are going to discuss the case now of Miss Dorothy Hampton. Now, let's go ahead uh, with uh, the writing task. Using the information in given in the case notes, write a letter to Stoma Care Nurse Madrin Susan for Dorothy for Stoma Care Support in home. So we are requesting to Miss Madrin Susan for giving support for Miss Dorothy at her home. Now write relevant points. Write relevant points. Present medical history and care in home. Okay, so this is what we have to see. Write relevant points, medical, present medical history, and care in home. So you have to say something which is uh, the medical history which is related to at present and what care we have to give at home. So this are, these are the things that we are going to focus on in this letter. Address uh, your letter to Miss Madrain Susan, Stoma Care Nurse, Brandon Hospital, UK. So. Now, the letter is very simple. This is a letter which is written to a stoma care nurse. You are a nurse in charge. You are writing to a stoma care nurse. So it's the same level. You know the person's name. So it's Miss Susan. You're writing to Miss Susan about the store, about requesting a stoma care support for Miss Dorothy Hampton who is 25 years old at the time of uh, this letter. So the date of birth is given on uh, April 1996. Now she is, um, uh, she, she's uh, single, she lives alone and she has a mother who has a family history of colitis. Now, she has a medical history of ulcerative colitis and is on medication. Now, we have some uh, irrelevant data. They are reducing BMI, caffeine intake, history of fracture, um, anxiety present, smoking stopped recently. So we just uh, don't need to see these things because we have a lot more things to focus on. Now, what we have seen here after the 17th October, she presented to our care with increased vomiting, tiredness, abdominal pain. And right now we have diagnosed her condition as exacerbation of ulcerative colitis. So she has undergone the emergency close to me and stomach care one side. Now we can see that um, after the surgery, she is worried about the body image, not, not well prepared. After the surgery, which was done on 17th of October, 2021, she was recommended to a stoma therapist who helped her in uh, wound dressing and uh, checking her uh, skin integrity. Initially, she was on clear fluids. And later on, she started taking semi-solid food. And uh, later in 21st, we, we can see that she resumed the normal diet. She could resume the normal diet. If you see the case of the wound, the wound was healing well. You can see the wound healed by 20th uh, and 21st. 
you, you can see the wound is clean, the wound is healed. Now we have still, we need to go ahead with the stoma care. The surgical wound is healed. We have the uh, stoma opened. We need to go ahead with the stoma care as a continuous support at her home too. The real problem here in 20, you can see here, is that she's anxious about her future, that job and social activities, because she thinks that her body image is not fit for a job or social activities. And she's really, really worried about the situation. Now, if you see further, you can see in 23rd, she's fit for discharge. So this is the date that we are going to write the, uh, the letter. Uh, she's fit for discharge, but still um, she's, she's concerned about her body image and needs its support at home. She needs emotional support, daily dressing and skin integrity. So daily dressing in the sense, it's not a wound dressing actually, it's um, it's actually stoma care what we are talking about here because we can see the wound is healed earlier on 20th of October you can see the wound is healed now what is this daily dressing this daily dressing is something which is dealing with the stoma that's also an opening and um, in in some of the letters which I have read from my candidates, they have written stoma pouch change. Yes, you can write. It's not so irrelevant. You can say that when you go with stoma care, you naturally have to change the stoma pouch because it is a it is an activity. It, it's a service which is included in the stoma care. It's not just cleaning the stoma. We need to clean the stoma. We need to change the pouch. We have a lot of procedures. So we we have given the service of a stoma therapist initially. That's on immediately after the surgery. That's what that was on 17th. Surgery was there. 18th, you have a Mm, you you gave the the client the service of his stoma therapist, and later, uh, yeah, uh, you can see the stoma pouch uh, is changed. You can see the daily dressings were done. You can see the skin integrity is done. All these are, comes under the care, the stoma care. So um, we need to continue this stoma care at her home. And this is her requirement is, and she's very anxious about her situation too. So we have seen these things and right now we have uh, to write the letter. So this is the um, thing you are going to write to Ms. Susan uh, regarding uh, the request of uh, uh, stomach care at her, at um, Dorothy's home. So let us go with the letter, how it looks. We are going to write on 23rd October, that's a day today. So Miss Madrin Susan, stomach care nurse, Brenda Hospital UK. Dear Miss Susan, reference Miss Dorothy Hampton. Uh, you can go ahead with O1. Yes, O1 April 1996. I'm writing to request a stomach care service for uh, Miss Dorothy Hampton at her home. So this is for what I am going to request. I'm requesting stomach care service for Miss Dorothy Hampton and that too at her home. She has undergone a close to me procedure and is being discharged today. So um, you Many of the candidates have written that she has um, been diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. Yes, of course, it's a diagnosis. Diagnos diagnosis is a, a exacerbation of ulcerative colitis. But the request here, which I made, is stoma care. So what is related to stoma care is the colon is the colostomy. 
So colostomy and stomach care is matching well than ulcerative colitis and stomach care. So I have done the end procedure, the end procedure. So of course she has ulcerative colitis and the, the intervention which uh, we have made is the colostomy and due to the colostomy we are going ahead with the uh, we are going to request uh, this particular nurse regarding the stoma care so and this happens at her home at her home so the service should be delivered at her home this is said in the purpose itself now we are going to see the first particular paragraph. Miss Hampton, who has been taking medication for uh, ulcerative colitis. So this gives information that the patient is a known case of ulcerative colitis and she's on treatment. So this is well, well, very well presented. We describes Miss Hampton, who has been taking medication for ulcerative colitis, was admitted to our care with increased vomiting, exhaustion, and pain in the abdomen on 17th of this month. So the time frame is written at the last. We have given a brief outline of uh, Miss Hampton, that she has been taking medication for uh, ulcerative colitis for a long time. And now she was admitted to our care with uh, increased vomiting, exhaustion, and pain in the abdomen on 17. So the admission date is also given. Even though the, uh, the sentence is a little bit lengthy, we have made the correct punctuations, separated it, fragmented it. At the same time, we could see that this whole idea is um, shrunken to a one particular sentence. Further assessment revealed that the aforementioned condition of her colon has exacerbated and therefore the surgical procedure was conducted on an emergency basis with stoma on one side. Now, we we have an idea that she has ulcerative colitis. She's taking medication for uh, the same. So we assist her further and we have confirmed her that she has exacerbation of uh, her condition. And therefore, the surgical procedure was conducted on an emergency. So we have mentioned about the surgical procedure in the purpose. That's colostomy procedure. So we don't need to mention it again. So colostomy procedure is written in the purpose. So the surgical procedure was conducted on an emergency basis with stoma on one side. So this is what happened in the hospital preliminary. So we have so we have conducted a surgery on Miss Hampton. Postoperatively, Miss Hampton was provided with the daily wound dressing and specialized this toma care by therapist. So what we have seen here is that after the surgery. After the surgery, Miss Hampton was provided with daily wound dressing and specialized this toma care by therapist. What exactly this is? This is a continuation of what we have seen in the previous paragraph. In the previous paragraph, we have stopped that an emergency surgery was done with a stoma on place. Now, after the surgery, she was provided with wound dressing, and this was given by a specialized stoma care therapist. Consequently, means as a result, her wound was healed. So because she got the expert service of a um, therapist, stomach care therapist, she could uh, 
uh, improve her condition that her wound was healed right now and she could uh, change her diet from clear liquids to normal diet. So she could uh, resume her diet, actually. So change her diet. However, owing to her concern of body image disturbance, which she thinks would affect her job and social activities, she is extremely anxious. Now, this is something which is uh, uh, standing out in this particular paragraph. So other things are all expected. So we have expected, we have, uh, we have got the service of uh, uh, a therapist, so with the service of the therapist, you can see that her wound was healed and she could change her diet from clear liquids to normal diet. But the problem, the problem here is that she's overly concerned about her body image. Now she thinks uh, that would affect her job and social activities. Oh, this is the problem here, the current medical condition and the problems, the progress and problems. Now the last sentence, the, pro, the, the request paragraph. It would be appreciated if you could visit Miss Hampton at her home to provide her stomach hair support and to check her skin, skin integrity on a daily basis. On a regular basis, on a daily basis, you are requested to provide Miss Hampton um, stomach care support. So it should be a, it should be every day. Kindly provide emotional support to her since she is overly concerned of her body image. Now um, we have seen in the previous paragraph she has some problems with uh, her future. She is really worried about the future. She just want to see how her job will be affected, how her social relations will be affected. So she is very, 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 very much concerned about her body image. And uh, this um, underlines the necessity of emotional support for Miss Hampton. So that's what we have written there. And if you have any further queries, please do not hesitate to contact me. You are sincerely, because you have written the name, Miss Susan. So the last is nurse in charge. So that is the end of the explanation here. Let's go ahead uh, once again with the uh, letter. Yes, here, the purpose. First paragraph. Second paragraph. Third paragraph. Closing. And that's the end. Thank you one and all.